Well, welcome and thank you for all your patience. I want it to be noted I've only left you here for 10 minutes though. <laughs> I want to start by saying that it is an absolute honour and a privilege to have the ability as the leader of the New Zealand Labour Party to form a government for all New Zealanders. I also want to say that this has been a campaign that has been robust and rigorous. And I want to thank Bill English for the role that he has played in that campaign, but also as Prime Minister and as serving in the past as New Zealand's Finance Minister. Mr English has already called me this evening and acknowledged that for the National Party, negotiations have now concluded. I personally have always believed that Members of Parliament come to this place in order to do good and to serve their country as best as they can. Uh, Mr English is an absolute example of that and I want to acknowledge it. These negotiations have been robust, but there has been more that has united the parties than has divided. Labour has always believed that government should be a partner in ensuring an economy that works and delivers for all New Zealanders. We also believe in a government that looks after its environment and that ultimately looks after its people. And I believe that Labour has found true allies in Parliament to deliver on that. I want to thank New Zealand First for the decision that they have made. I know it has been significant and difficult. I want to thank them for the time and consideration they put into the negotiations. And I can confirm that they were indeed dominated by a discussion around policy and ensuring that consensus existed on the issues that were of the greatest importance to each of us. They have formed a solid foundation on which we will now build a coalition government. I also, in the same vein, want to thank and acknowledge the New Zealand Green Party. We have also engaged in a robust policy negotiation with them also. They have engaged in us on areas of consensus and on areas where we have taken different views. I acknowledge that they are now undertaking a process with their party, which I respect, and we will await the outcome of that to confirm that together we will indeed have successfully changed the government. It is my intention that over the next 24 hours we will conclude the final remaining areas of our agreement that need to be completed for both respective parties. Also tomorrow afternoon the New Zealand Labour Party will hold a caucus that will enable us to carry out an election for cabinet positions for Labour. Early next week we will be in a position to sign and release the agreements that the New Zealand Labour Party has negotiated both with New Zealand First and with the Green Party. Later in the week we will confirm and release ministerial portfolios more broadly, and a swearing-in ceremony will take place. I want to conclude again by saying I feel extraordinarily honoured and privileged to be in the position to form a government with, a labor, uh, with labor at the lead. I want to thank all those who gave Labour support throughout the election and through this period of negotiation. We campaigned hard on issues that we believe strongly on and now we take very seriously the responsibility that we have to deliver on them. How many portfolios have you given New Zealand First and, and in particular what's completed? Uh, New Zealand First will hold four cabinet positions. Uh, they will also have one parliamentary undersecretary. What about Winston Peters? What position have you given him? Is he Deputy Prime Minister? Uh, Mr Peters has been offered the role. As you've heard earlier tonight, he is still considering whether or not he will take that role. What about the Greens? Uh, what roles will they have? Uh, as I've said, uh, ministerial portfolios will be released in due course. I want to uh, make sure I honour the process that the Green Party is going through at the moment. They're 
discussing their agreement, so I'll leave it to, to James Shaw uh, to announce the outcome of that and the nature of some elements of that agreement. Can you confirm that they will have ministers? I can confirm they will have ministerial portfolios. Will the Green, will the Green, will the New Zealand Green Party be inside the coalition? I want to honour the process the Greens are going through. Uh, we will, of course, be uh, releasing those agreements in due course, but I don't want to uh, undermine the process the Greens are currently going through. But I can confirm they have been offered ministerial portfolios. Yeah, I've already said that they are in a supply agreement as opposed to a coalition. Again, I do want to make sure that the Green Party has the ability to announce the agreement that they have, but again, I'm confirming they have ministerial portfolios. Well, is that that the Greens are signing up to Oh, I'm satisfied that throughout this campaign the Greens' strong message was that they wanted to change the government. We are now in the position to do that. Of course, I respect the process they are undertaking, but my expectation is that we are together changing the government. Uh, Alex, sorry. Peter said there might also be other portfolios on the table that you might be able to take up. Can you let us know what they are? Oh, certainly we've had a conversation and we are very close to finalising those ministerial portfolios. Yes, um, but again, I want to make sure that we're in the position to complete those conversations over the next 24 hours. Oh, certainly there's an interest, a strong interest from New Zealand First in the area of ensuring that our regions are well cared for, uh, are well supported, have the jobs and infrastructure that they deserve. It's a value that Labor shares. Um, but again, we'll be confirming those portfolios in due course. Once Peterson contacted you before making his announcement, would you have liked him to? Oh, I enjoyed the, the theatre of being with everyone at the same time as uh, I joined with New Zealand as we collectively learnt the information together. How was your reaction? Oh, um, again, I felt an overwhelming sense of being incredibly uh, honoured Privileged and humbled. I've never won a World Cup, so I wouldn't know. Do you think you can learn from Winston Peters? He's a, a, a very experienced politician as opposed to you. My view is that we'll have a partnership, that we'll continue to learn from one another. Do you can you outline the policy to, um, priorities? Sorry, Peter, can you outline the policy priorities that are going to feature in your agreement with New Zealand First and, and the Greens as, I suppose, a representation of your government? Yeah, look, the areas that all camp, uh, parties campaigned on will feature heavily uh, in their respective agreements. Uh, and it was obvious uh, at the conclusion of the campaign, those areas where we had common ground, uh, an economy that delivers for all New Zealanders, uh, an environment uh, that we are protecting and preserving, uh, making sure that all New Zealanders have access to the services uh, they need. For each respective party, there's a different focus, a different set of priorities, and you'll see those reflected in the agreements that we produce. And you're happy you can balance the interests of New Zealand first and the Greens, which you know, sometimes may be in opposition. Absolutely. Through the negotiation pro pro uh, process, it's become even more apparent to me uh, that there is an extraordinary amount of common ground between us on what we wish to deliver for all New Zealanders. Mr Peters has said that the um, Kiwi policy is going ahead. Is that going to go ahead in the full scale, 100,000 homes over yeah. 10 years? Uh, what will have been clear through the campaign is that we all agreed that there is a housing crisis. We all agreed there was a role for the state to play. Uh, and we all agree we need to build that scale of houses. So yes, that is what we remain committed to. Do you make any concessions? Oh, certainly in any negotiation, concessions are made. Uh, my role was to ensure that I only made concessions in areas uh, that uh, the New Zealand Labour Party would feel comfortable with and what were in line with our values and principles. What I needed to hold on to as leader was making sure that in every case we were holding on to our ultimate goals. You'll see uh, when those uh, agreements are released how we've managed to do that. Sorry, sorry, Barry. Or just Again, we had uh, a robust, robust conversation about policy direction. We all agreed, every single party agreed, that in New Zealand our rivers are dying. We all agreed that we needed to take action. Uh, the methodology we wanted to use some, uh, differed in some areas, but you'll see from the policies, the agreements that we release and the policies within them, that we've found a path forward collectively. Sorry. My intention is to uh, uh, make a trip to Australia as soon as I am able. Barry's just the loudest, so I'm just going <laughs> to. Actually, not to know Winston Peters during the course of it, she didn't really know him before that. What do you like about it? Oh, I've always had uh, respect for Mr. Peters um, as a politician, and throughout this process, 
uh, I've been able to see and have confirmed that he has been absolutely focused on the issues he's campaigned on. Uh, the vast majority of these negotiations have been about the things he wants to deliver for New Zealanders. I absolutely respect that. Uh, we've found a pathway forward to do that, and I have no doubt that we will work together uh, in a respectful relationship and with the go goal of delivering for all New Zealanders. Does this government... Uh, ...capitalism has become foe rather than friend of New Zealanders. Do you agree with that? And what sort of capitalism mm. do you see under... Uh, yeah, uh, I would absolutely agree that it's not delivering for the people of New Zealand. Uh, that we need to make sure that we are an active government working alongside people to ensure that they are having all of their needs met. Uh, we need to make sure they can access government services when they need them. Uh, that they are supported uh, to find work and that we are being active ensuring that we have greater job creation in this country. That we don't just simply allow New Zealand's economy to be reliant on a housing market and simple population growth. And we are ambitious that our economy can do better. You also said that monetary policy will be reformed, but that we haven't secured the full hog Singapore style model. So are we just going to be seeing re really your policy uh, there? Certainly there was a long conversation about what we wanted to achieve together in that area. Uh, you'll know that we had a policy that we went to the election on, but I'll leave it to the time that we release the agreements to see the final outcome of those conversations. Well, what will the government's policy, uh, what will the new government led by you's policy uh, be on the Trans-Pacific Partnership? Do you still want to sign the Trans-Pacific Partnership? It'll be the same as what we campaigned on. Will you be travelling to um, the APEC meeting? That's currently my intention. I know it's still early days yet, but have you had any contact from other world leaders congratulating you? Uh, I have uh, unfortunately didn't have the um, uh, ability to take a call um, from Bill Shorten. Uh, and uh, you'll, you'll forgive me for not having looked at my phone um, for a wee while. So much can we see net migration drop under a Labour New Zealand first government? You'll already be familiar with our policy, and that's what we're sticking with. Did any of your 100 days plans get severely cut or come across in negotiations? You'll see from the final release of our uh, agreements where there has been uh, a different view taken from other parties, but by and large, um, I'm very comfortable that we have focused on the end outcomes that Labor has always wanted to achieve, be it um, clean waterways, be it um, more housing, be it uh, focusing on issues like child poverty. On each of the principles we've campaigned on, we've stuck to it. Will your government, be selling, will your government, be selling, will your government stop the sale of farmland to uh, foreign owners? Uh, we've had a policy for some time uh, that when it comes to critical infrastructure, um, when it comes to existing housing, uh, that we needed to make, take a much more proactive uh, effort to curb foreign ownership, and that remains the case. <laughs> We've always had a policy which means that if it's a significant asset over a, a particular size, that yes, that should be curtailed. Well, at the TPP talks at APEC, are you willing to walk away from the TPP altogether if you don't get the uh, housing ban? And, the IS, and changes to ISDS? That has not been demonstrated as necessary at this time. We're in a period of renegotiation uh, for that agreement and we'll be using that period of renegotiation uh, to deliver an outcome uh, that will ensure that New Zealanders uh, are looked after in that agreement. At the moment, the government made no effort to negotiate an agreement that allowed New Zealanders to ensure that they can protect uh, the asset that they're being unable to attain, which is housing. But you will, you will yes, not sign Henry. Uh, we have tried to ensure that we have been as proportional as possible in the way that we have treated ministerial portfolios. Uh, but again, uh, I don't want to undermine the process that the Green Party is currently undertaking. I imagine that uh, they'll be keen and eager to release that in due course. Will, 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 those, green, yeah. will those green ministries be side Again, as I've already said, the nature of the agreement, that's a question that's being asked. I want to make sure that the Green Party have the opportunity to take that agreement to the SGM, which is currently underway. Can you tell us, you tell us how quickly you expect to have an involuntary policy in place? Maybe I'll, I'll ask you, Mr Robinson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, be I'm behind you. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, th no, that's something we'll look at in, 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 you know, over the coming weeks. We uh, campaigned with the specific monetary policy changes. We've obviously had discussions about those during the negotiations. Um, we'll get underway as soon as we possibly can. Mm. Follow up to that. Uh, you, you, sorry, follow up to that. You've got a monetary policy stuck from the Reserve Bank on the 9th of November. Can we before that or after? Mm. Well, we'll just do it as soon as we can. Mm. Do you want to see the I imagine it'll take, I imagine it'll take a bit more time than that, Rob. Do you want to see the Reserve Bank 
appoint the new governor before you made the monetary policy changes? My, undertaking some of the, my understanding is some of that work is already underway. Will Pope River be reentered as a matter of uh, you, you'll um, be aware that Pike River and, and a manned re-entry was a priority for the Green Party, uh, for the Labour Party and the New Zealand First Party. So and absolutely. As Prime Minister, you're obviously going to be living in a goldfish bowl. How are you going to find the lack of privacy in I'm from Morrinsville. There's no chance that I will ever live in a goldfish bowl. Uh, I expect that my family, my friends... Uh, my colleagues in the New Zealand Labour Party, indeed our members and our supporters, will continually keep me grounded and remind me why it is I first ran for politics in politics and why it is that they elected me to be Prime Minister. Did you stay within the budget responsibility rules that you set for yourself and, and in agreement with the Greens and the negotiations you struck? Again, we're currently finalising the final details um, of those agreements, but we've certainly set ourselves some high expectations in that regard. So you haven't finalised it yet? The agreements have not been finalised, uh, but uh, certainly the budget responsibility rules have been top of our mind in these negotiations. Yeah. Uh, no, our understanding is that uh, where we currently are with most of those agreements, that those shouldn't undermine those. We have been explicit that when it comes to the Korea Free Trade Agreement, yes, um, there is uh, an element of renegotiation that will be required in order to fulfil our policy uh, of making sure that we uh, ban uh, foreign ownership of existing homes in New Zealand. Uh, so that is a period of a bit of renegotiation that we will need to undertake. Are you also going to, to ban foreign buying of Again, we have a set of criteria that relates to where uh, we consider that to be critical infrastructure. Is there intention that the foreign buyer's ban is introduced to the parliament within the first 100 days of the government? The foreign buyer ban yeah, on residential on housing. housing. We, our, on that regard, we always said that we would uh, prioritise uh, putting in place that ban mm -hmm. on foreign ownership of existing houses, and that has not changed. Do you have a okay. Might be very jittery about the Labour Yeah, look, absolutely. Uh, I would say that uh, Labour consistently uh, delivered a, s a strong and robust economic outlook for New Zealand. We delivered nine budget surpluses. We had the strongest continuous economic growth since World War II. Uh, we ensured um, that at all times we were fiscally prudent and we were strong economic managers. We did that whilst in a coalition, uh, whilst in a confidence and supply agreement with New Zealand First too. Uh, that will continue. Will there be moves to move to Auckland? Will there be moves to move to We've, we've always said that we believe there is room to look at opportunities outside of the existing site for Auckland's port. We've always maintained that as a uh, Labour Party and we continue to maintain that. Gavin Davis, you saved the market. Do you feel that it's uh, an injustice that the largest party is not uh, part of the government? I would say that uh, what has now been formed has been formed on the basis of the majority of New Zealand's votes. Gavin Davis, Winston Peters said that the Māori seats referendum won't be happening. That's obviously very pleasing, uh, very pleasing for you. Very happy. Hi, tino hari kora, uh, tino hari koa koa, koa pūmau tia, koa u ngā tūru māori. Kia ora everyone, we'll see you again soon.